Hi, I'm Dustin Weiniger. Today's video is a response to a viewer request that I received after I posted my Eras Gone Bullet Molds review video. Tony writes, How about a video hand loading and shooting your new cast bullets? I'm sure that is in your plans in the future. We'll be waiting for that informative video. Thanks again as I sip on my morning coffee. Well, Tony, I'd be happy to do that for you, and I'll do it with the massive Colt Walker. Now, if you've been following this channel, you may have seen that I already tested Johnston & Dow bullets for their accuracy, so today I'm going to use them in a different way. I'll show you the loading procedure, but for the shooting, I have a little problem to take care of. The High Fructose Gang is back in town again, and nobody else seems to be willing to do anything about them. I'm the only one that ever takes care of this. So why don't we take the Colt Walker out, I'll show you the loading sequence for the Johnston & Dow bullet, and I'll see what I can do about those carbonated bandits. Well, I don't see any bandits just yet, so let's go ahead and go over that loading procedure. The first thing that I do is I take my caps, in this case number 10 percussion caps for this walker, and I put one on each of the nipples, as I've now done all the way around, and even though the chambers themselves are empty, I'm just going to fire these into the dirt. What that has done is that's cleared the holes in those nipples of any oil or other debris that might be in the way so that it doesn't obstruct my shooting later. Now I'm going to add my gunpowder. The powder I'm using today is 3FG Go-X black powder and the charge I happen to be using today is 40 grains which I've put into this powder measure. I'm just going to pour that now right into the firing chamber. Now I'll add my 44 caliber Johnston and Dow bullet. And you can see that right underneath the band, this has a pretty long heel on the bullet, which is undersized, which makes it very easy to just drop it right down into the chamber like that. Now, I have modified this walker to accept these, and depending on what revolver you're using, you may need to do that too. But now that I've got a big open loading port, I'll just rotate that bullet under the rammer, and then I'll load by pressing my loading lever, and then for forcing my rammer down, pressing that bullet down tight, on that powder. Now if you're using a Pieta revolver you may need to either modify the rammer or purchase a Uberti rammer because the Pieta rammer has a blunt end. The Uberti rammers are the ones that are concave to accept these conical bullets. Now I've got all six bullets loaded so it's time to add some black powder lube over the front of each chamber. This is going to keep the fouling soft in the bore and help my accuracy and it does help a little bit to prevent chain fires. And I'll just repeat that now all the way around. Now it's time to add my caps. I've got my Remington number 10 caps. Place that on the nipple just like that, press it down tight, and I'll just repeat that all the way around. Now I normally only load five shots, the cowboy load, but today I loaded all six in here because the High Fructose Gang has sent six carbonated bandits. I guess that'll do it for the High Fructose Gang today, and I do hope those carbonated bandits rest in peace. And I hope you viewers don't get too comfortable. Remember, if the High Fructose Gang's taught us anything, it's that they always have more bandits to send. Well, I really hope you enjoyed watching all the shooting today, and if you're a new shooter, particularly to black powder shooting, I hope maybe you learned something about loading conical bullets into a percussion revolver. Don't forget to click the like button below and subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos. And if you look in the description, you can see where to follow me on social media. Thank you as always for watching.